Thank you so much for answering a few questions and I hope my videos and the texts that go with them have given you a clue as to why your baby is upset. When these babies come into me, I don't stop until I figure out the cause and I always find the cause and if you can find the cause, then you can do something to help the baby. But you are so not told about this that your baby can be helped. Um, and I find this so frustrating and this is my mission to help babies and to help parents get more sleep. I can't stand the advice of wait until 12 weeks and they grow out of it. One, who wants to wait another 10 weeks? Two, they don't often grow out of it. What happens if your baby had to have antibiotics for 10 weeks? They don't suddenly clear up in two weeks time. They can go much, much longer. I see it all the time. I can't stand the advice of all babies cry. You know your baby is crying more than the other baby. You know your baby's in pain. You know that you've done everything you need to help that baby. So I believe you as the mum that your baby is crying more and we can help them. I've got all my 20 years of experience in, um, in my book. and um, That's only 3 99 as a download off CarmenCollick.com. But there's loads of free stuff on there. There's videos, there's blogs, there's lists of foods that you might be eating as a breastfeeding mum that can make your baby windy. Have a look around there. Um, I just know there's stuff in there that can help you. You can email me if you've got a little bit, uh, or you've got some more questions you want to ask. I do some Facebook live events that you can come on and ask me questions. So I really want to get out there, help these babies, help me mums. Loads of the stuff you've been being told is wrong. Or it's just plain wrong. Um, we can help these babies, so don't settle for all babies cry. Have a look around and we can definitely help you. Thank you.